Welcome to another episode of Digital Journal TV. I'm Chris Hogg. And I'm Dave Silverberg. Citizen journalism, crowdsourcing, open source media. No matter what you call it, user-generated news is changing the journalism industry for both writers and readers. Mainstream media sources like CNN or Associated Press are inviting citizen journalists into the fold, which is dramatically changing the face of social media. In this episode of Digital Journal TV, we take you into the world of citizen journalism. We show you how it made headlines this year and why it's here to stay. In the past year, we've seen citizen journalism grow all over the world. MSNBC bought citizen journalism site Newsvine.com, which was the biggest buyout of a citizen news site to date. Vancouver-based NowPublic.com hauled in a $10 million in venture capital funding and also partnered with Associated Press. Wired Magazine devoted an entire project to crowdsourcing, a term for online collaboration. CNN started an entire portal for citizen journalists. And YouTube hosted citizen-submitted questions for U.S. presidential candidates. The best commitment we can make to the Iraqi people is to give them their country back. That's the most important thing that we can do. Well, I couldn't run as anything other than a woman. The American people didn't believe us. They don't believe us because of our failure in Katrina, our failure in Iraq, our failures in reigning in corruption and out of control spending. So we tried and we failed. Uh, I think the questioner uh, hit the nail on the head. As I travel around the country, people have an urgent desire for change in Washington. Both on digitaljournal.com and on other news sites, we've seen an explosion of news articles, photography, videos. They offer rare and exciting glimpses into the world around us, be it a tragic story, a lighthearted tale, or just checking up on the mainstream media facts. Citizen journalism is about pooling multiple perspectives. Mainstream media is also delving into citizen journalism, looking for ways to connect everyday people with news and views. If there's any sign that mainstream media is wising up to Web 2.0, it's citizen media. Also, look at how Reuters and Nokia partnered to create the Reuters mobile journalism site. It allows everyday people to contribute news stories to Reuters from the road. The only catch is you got to use a Nokia cell phone. Corporate branding, you just can't get away from it. So what makes it different? What makes citizen journalism exciting? Perhaps one of the most compelling quotes came from Richard Sandbrook from the BBC. Sandbrook wrote, the new digital environment is fundamentally changing our relations with the audience, how they use the new digital tools and what they expect from us. We must also help those who receive our news to contribute to our services as we witness fundamental realignment of the relationship between broadcaster and the public. So, who can we thank for the spread of user-generated content? Well, YouTube and Dig deserve some kudos, as does Gilmore at the Center for Citizen Media. And Don Tapscott's book, Wikinomics, exposed the trend to the masses. But most of all, the credit goes out to you. Citizen journalism is about the people. The trend is exploding, and anyone who's dabbled in this new form of media can thank the godfather of citizen journalism for starting it all. Oh My News, the South Korean citizen journalism site, boasts more than 60,000 reporters since its launch in 2000. And Oh My News is not just resting on its laurels. In November 2007, it even opened a citizen journalism school near Seoul. Which brings us to our very own home of open source media. Here at digitaljournal.com, we've seen reporters cover everything from the Minneapolis bridge collapse to emerging technologies to fact-checking and disproving news stories written by the mainstream media. And we've seen photo essays that give refreshing glimpses into topics that affect us all. We have countless examples of regular people making a real difference in the world. And let's not forget the community that digitaljournal.com has fostered. We've laughed and cried together, we've seen intense debate, personal revelations, and citizen journalists have become close friends because of the support of Backbone on DigitalJournal.com. In total, DigitalJournal.com's community of citizen journalists have voiced their opinion in more than 157,000 comments and penned almost 40,000 breaking news stories. 
As another exciting year for digitaljournal.com comes to a close, we want to send a sincere thank you to all of the citizens and citizen journalists who have helped make the site what it is today. Digitaljournal.com is a totally unique venue full of information and a true alternative to mainstream media. We could not be more proud of the thousands of people who are redefining news. We no longer just have capital J journalism or small j journalism. Digitaljournal.com has introduced C journalism or citizen journalism. For Digital Journal TV, I'm Dave Silverberg. Happy New Year, everyone. All the best. And I'm Chris Hogg. Here's looking forward to another year of plenty more good finds. For Digital Journal TV, I'm Dave Silverberg. Happy New Year, everyone. Do it one more time, Dave. Sure. <laughs> Ready? For Digital Journal TV, I'm Dave Silverberg. Happy New Year, everyone. And I'm Chris Hogg for everyone at whole. Again, here's looking okay. forward to another. For Digital Journal TV, I'm Dave Silverberg. Happy New Year, everyone. Again, because I made a face. Yes. Okay. For Digital Journal TV, I'm Dave Silverberg. Happy New Year, everyone. And I'm Chris Hogg. Here's looking forward to another year of more good finds. And don't worry, we're not going to pull a cheesy, you're the person of the year award like Time Magazine did. But in all honesty, citizen journalism is about the power of the people and you do deserve the credit. I guess that means we're pulling that Time cheesy stunt. Edit the scene out. <laughs> <laughs>